Hello guys, welcome to Spice Channel TV. If you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. On today's news report, INEC to appeal court ruling allowing the temporary voter cards for governorship election. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has indicated its plan to appeal a court judgment, granting the request of the two plaintiffs to use their temporary voter cards. The commission disclosed this in a tweet on Thursday. Now, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has been served a copy of the judgment delivered today by the Federal High Court Abuja Division, which ordered it to allow two plaintiffs to vote with their temporary voter cards. Now, the commission is taking immediate step to appeal against the judgment of the trial court. Earlier in the day, Justice Obiora, a Guwata of the Federal High Court Abuja ordered the Electoral Commission to allow two voters to use, you know, the temporary voter cards in the March 18th governorship and the State House of Assembly's election. Now, Justice Obiora gave the judgment in a suit filed by two aggrieved Nigerians seeking the use of the TVCS in the general elections in the absence of the permanent voter cards. Now, the judgment said that the order was made on the grounds that the plaintiffs were duly registered and captured in the INEX database. An order is made compelling the defendant, INEC, to allow the plaintiffs to vote using their permanent voter cards issued by the defendant. Now, the plaintiffs have been duly captured in the National Register of the Voters Database. So a declaration, you know, is made by this court that the plaintiffs have fulfilled all the necessary legal requirements to register, having consequentially been captured in INEX Central Database and Manual printed paper-based record or the hard copy format of the defendants maintain. Now, the voters of, pardon, the registers of voter. Now, the plaintiffs are entitled to use their permanent voter cards in the forthcoming 2023 general elections, the judge said. However, however, said that he was unable to grant prayer three which was to allow every eligible voter with a TVC to vote because the suit was not filled in a representative capacity. Now, the court has spoken. The court has allowed the temporary voter cards for the governorship election. Now, would the federal government adhere to this particular court ruling? That is what we should, you know, ask ourselves. Would the federal government adhere to these particular court issues that has been made? This uh, court declaration that has been made. Now, now, the major problem we have is INEC. The people are ready to accept the rulings of the, of the appeal court stating that uh, the temporary voter cards can be used for these elections. Nigerians are really ready to accept this judgment you know, of the appeal court. But what Nigerians are most you know, concerned about is hope say I neck no go use this uh, you know temporary voter card can't do mago mago for this coming elections because there's nothing the I neck cannot do. In fact, Nigerians currently eh, they cannot really predict the movement of the I neck at this very point in time. And this can be a welcome uh, a, a very welcoming development because even before the presidential uh, the presidential election most voter cards you know we saw in anambra how thousands of voter cards were recovered in the forest by a hunter you know and he had to bring it back and then we saw videos of how people were sharing their voter cards uh, you know they were collecting it this happened in anambra state recently a, a, you know two people were you know were caught with uh, thousands of voter cards in lagos now, what are they doing with those voter cards? We don't know. And all we know is that those permanent voter cards, you know, are for so many Nigerians who have not gotten their voter card yet. And most of them have been deprived to vote at this presidential election. But I know that definitely 
those people that have, you know, the permanent Volta cards that were recovered at, uh, at Anambra State and the one that was re recently recovered in Lagos, they have their, you know, their temporary voter card. So this is a welcoming development that even without your permanent voter card, you can still vote with your temporary voter card. It is a very welcoming development. I think it's, it's even more better than, you know, the one that you have to use your permanent voter card for those that don't have their permanent voter card, but they have their temporary voter card. Now, all we are looking at is... Will INEC be able to deliver, you know, a credible and a transparent election at this uh, March 18th uh, governorship elections? Will INEC be able to deliver? It is not by introducing, uh, you know, temporary voter card that people used to vote because this can also be another form of rigging elections. I'm telling you, my country people, there's nothing that this INEC, you know, cannot do in this country. You know, get what you know, we never see for this country. So it might be another form of rigging this election with the way we are seeing it. So INEC should be prepared though. INEC should better, you know, concentrate on making this election, you know, good and credible and fair for all. If not, there will be chaos. There will be serious chaos and tension in this country. So my wonderful people, what are your thoughts, you know, concerning how the, the appeal courts have stated that, uh, people can use their temporary voter cards. Do you think that, yes, this is a welcoming development, or do you really think that INEC should focus more on making sure that this coming elections, you know, comes out successful? Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below. Thank you. Bye for now.